Jackson Brown with Green Market Report, and this is your urgent roll-up. Despite the spread of the legalization of marijuana across the United States, and more talks of federal legalization ahead, the numbers are in for the black market, and it's showing no signs of letting up. Take California, for instance. With raids in the north and the shutting down of shops in the south, the numbers in Sacramento are spiking. In Colorado, they're having a grand time taking most of their product to illegal states for greater profit. And newcomers to the medical marijuana side, like Albany, New York, Jacksonville, Florida, Cincinnati, Ohio, and New Orleans, Louisiana, have all seen their numbers jump two to 5% since the introduction of laws. And on your recreational states, like Seattle, Las Vegas, and Denver, same old story. And I can't leave out Canada who has a projected black market of 71%, and by 2020, could be around 37. But why are people using the black market? Is it the convenience? Is it the higher TH count? Is it the price and taxation battle? Only time will tell, but as right now, the black market is in motion. And I'm Emerson Brown with Green Market Report, and that was your urgent roll-up.